when I heard about the existence of custom films, I just immediately thought, I want to... It's so fascinating. It's so fascinating. Yeah. Because, you know, as a writer, you're always trying to look into people's souls. And yeah. what an unusual way to look into someone's soul is to, to see that the porn film that they've commissioned just for themselves. Yeah. And, and I was looking for kind of... Not, um, I immediately thought, I want to find ones that aren't obviously sexual because mm-hmm. I just think they'll be more interesting. And, right. Uh, so, yeah, so we entered into the world of bespoke porn and not only did we find the most incredible examples of it, um, but also we just found this really kind of beautiful relationship between the producers and the clients. Mm. And it just felt like everybody just trying to help each other. Yeah. Like, like the clients were trying to fill some sort of psychological hole by commissioning these films. But also it meant a lot to the producers too. You know, people like Dan and Rhiannon of Anatomic Media. And it just felt very, I just felt unexpectedly moving. So so that was like, that was the most affecting consequence in a positive way of of the Pornhub ripple effect. Yeah. There's a real intimacy there because I think, you know, when you're, I mean, people have such bizarre sexual fantasies and so many people have been shamed into Mm -hmm. keeping those inside them and to never, you know, Mm. allow other people to know what gets you off because sexuality is such a strange thing and it taps into so many different aspects of our our lives, our experiences, our personalities and that kind of stuff. So, um, and it's interesting now too, you know, with society in general kind of moving towards like being against Um, such things as shaming. And I, I, you know, I've been in the industry a long time ago. So I remember like 10 years ago, you know, we would talk about some bizarre custom video that somebody would make and we would laugh about how crazy it was. And now Mm -hmm. people are like, don't kink shame. And I was like, what is that word? But kink shaming is a thing. And if you think about it, I mean, it's, it's, it's totally understandable. These are some very deep and personal, um, you know, things Mm. that these people are, kind of revealing and, and yeah. wanting to explore and wounds. Yeah, sometimes. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so it, it isn't, you know, yeah. sometimes it's hard not to laugh at some of these things, but I mean, ultimately, you know, but I think you, you can have laugh. to be, you can laugh and kind of still be respectful. And I think yeah. some, I think some of the people who commissioned films would laugh too. I mean, they yes. would realize it's kind of silly, silly or ridiculous. I mean, one that pops into my mind is Christina Carter. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was commissioned to make a film where she's Wonder Woman and she keeps trying to get up and leave the house, but a tiny gremlin is hiding behind the sofa and pops her on the head and stuns <laughs> her and she can't leave the house. So we we talked to the guy who commissioned the video and, and his story was that when he was five, his mother left them and he was like sitting on her suitcase trying to stop her from leaving. Um, but she left and his only memory of her is his, is his mother leaving. So he said there's a direct correlation between that experience and him commissioning that gremlin Interesting. Wonder Woman video. Yeah. yeah. I remember there was a model that uh, I used to work with quite a bit named Candlebox. And I think the strangest uh, custom video she said she ever did was when somebody paid her to sit fully clothed on a duffel bag for nine minutes <laughs> and not say anything and yeah that right. was it just sit on this duffel bag and you think like this kid was probably uh-huh. put you know when he was a kid he's being bullied probably put in a duffel bag i mean who knows like what yeah. story is Might behind the same guy i, mean, I know right I know, yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the show make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos i film every single one of my podcasts And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.